San Jose State football is back this Saturday against Hawaii. Earlier in the week, the Spartans flew to Hawaii in order to play the game due to COVID concerns in Santa Clara County. But it's been just about a month since the, since the Spartans' last contest at home against UNLV, and that was a win. They are still undefeated, and they will look to go 5-0 and for the first time since 1939 this Saturday on Oahu in Hawaii at Aloha Stadium the largest outdoor stadium in Hawaii. It should be a good one. I'm so excited Spartan football is back. I'm Ryan Carlson along with Max Miller, Derek Al, and Stevie Corio. So great to have you guys along. Thanks for joining me. How excited are you for the game today? You know, Ryan, it's been a month. We hope we're back. Uh, we thought yeah. we were last week and then what, two, three hours were kicking off. We found it was off. Felt bad for the guys going up there, getting ready to play. Almost about time to warm up and just, nope, no game. Um, can't be as bad as the, the men's basketball team issue, but that's, that's, a, that's, that's for another story. Um, I will say silver lining to not playing is every game that's been canceled, it's not been San Jose State with the COVID problems. We have not had any problems, thank God, this year. Every, every athlete on the team, every coach on the team has not been tested positive once to our knowledge, which is something that is, we should all be thankful for considering the fact both games that were canceled, Boise State and Fresno State, they had issues with COVID-19. And let's be thankful that, one, we can even be playing, and, two, that when we are playing, we don't have issues with COVID-19. So I'm hoping we're back. Hope they don't get too involved in the Hawaii sun and relax. It's about, like, let's go. This could be solidified for the, the Mountain West Championship game. I think this game this week could be really good for the Spartans, especially like what you said, Max, all the cancellations. Um, I do know that Hawaii has been doing a very good job at regulating who comes in and out of the state, just in general, not even football wise. So this could be good, you know, um, for the players to kind of like just get out of San Jose a little bit since they haven't really been able to go or be around anyone and be able to play in a tropical, really nice place. Um, and it might even help them get their mind right a little bit and pull through for a win. Aloha to our Spartan brothers and sisters right here and just enjoying a little paradise at my house, Al Palace here in Salinas. And uh, but in all seriousness, though, even though I'm wearing this uh, Trader Joe's shirt here, um, <laughs> this is great to see Spartan football back. Um, I know it's been 21 days since they've last played uh, with Fresno State and then flying all the way to Boise. You know, funny thing is, by the way, I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. Um, and by the way, I watched this movie called Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and I know millennials are look are probably researching that on Wikipedia right now. Uh, starts the late, great John Candy, Steve Martin. Uh, it feels like the Spartans have been doing their little adventure planes, trains, and automobiles. They took the bus, or they were about to go hop on the bus to Fresno. That didn't happen. They flew to uh, Boise, woke up, game got canceled, and now they're in paradise on Honolulu, and um, you know we're 24 hours away, and We'll see, you know, but we got to thank Hawaii, by the way. They gave Nevada a loss, so we are in the driver's seat, like on the Indianapolis 500. So, uh, you know, Spartans win basically their halfway to uh, paradise, literally, to the Mountain West uh, Conference Championship game. Yeah, San Jose State bringing a 4-0 and record over there to Hawaii, and it should be a great game. Hawaii's defense has given up points this season, and the Spartans' offense – after going a few weeks of not having a game, not being in competition, we'll look to exploit the defense. Went on the road, and it's going to be a little different. It's not going to be nationally televised. Uh, so, Derek, how can our fans watch the game on, on Saturday? Well, I know we got, some, uh, stu or we got some alumni that live on the islands. Come on, they're enjoying some paradise. Favorite island, of course, is Maui. Um, and I know we're going to Oahu. So it'll be on Spectrum Sportsnet for anybody who has Spectrum. I know that's really a popular uh, cable uh, company down in down in the islands, and you can go to Team One Sports app. That is right, Team One Sports app. It's available on your Roku or Amazon devices. No, we do not sponsor. We're not sponsored by Roku, or Amazon. But I have to mention that. Oh, look at Max showing off his iPhone. Hopefully, they're not tracking you, son. Come on now. But uh, anyways, go to your Apple or Google Play stores. You can find the app there. Um, unfortunately, this game you cannot access via computer unless you do some you know, illegal streaming, but we're not advising that to any of our viewers watching this on YouTube tomorrow or today. <laughs> so uh, it's, yeah, Team One Sports app, and you, sh you should be able to find on the bottom Hawaii football, and you're good to go. Yeah, so a little different this time. you got to download the app and, and navigate your way through there to watch the game. 3 p.m. Pacific time 
1 p.m. Island time. It should be a good one. Uh, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors last had a game on November 28th, so not too long ago. That was another home win. They hosted Nevada, the Wolfpack, and won by three points, 24 to 21. And the Wolfpack is a team that the Spartans will see for the final matchup of the season, and that should be a great one. We'll see where the Spartans end up going after their game in Hawaii because if they go back to Santa Clara County, they'll have to quarantine for 14 days. So they'll most likely be on the road before their game at Reno uh, the week after. But circling back to the Hawaii game, what are the keys to this one? Uh, Hawaii has, has a strong record as well with a win last week against Nevada. And they've been playing over the past couple of weeks, something the Spartans have not been doing. So we're, we'll see how the Spartans match up in the, in the first quarter, especially being back under the, the stadium lights and in and, and Mountain West competition. Yeah, Ryan, I think we're, we're up for a big game. Uh, uh, I think it's just this, this season is so different than any other. I don't even think we need to look at last year's, especially last year's game, especially with, you know, not playing for 21 days, like Derek said. Um, there's definitely some, some points of emphasis, people to watch out for. Um, on, on, in terms of the San Jose State defense, they need to watch out for the quarterback of, of Chevin Cordero. I believe it's either Chevin or Chevin Cordero. We try to figure it out, but Cordero, he's their quarterback. He's their leading rusher, and uh, it's something to watch out for. And we also need to watch out for their running back as well. Their running back is very talented. He's also their leading receiver, 25 catches, 369 yards, and five touchdowns. No other uh, receiver on that Hawaii team has more than two, and only one person has two. Only four total people on that team, running backs and receiving core, have touchdowns, uh, touchdown receptions, that is. Um, from the offensive stand, standpoint of the ball, I think that there's a clear emphasis, point of emphasis on what to do, and that is run the ball. Uh, Hawaii's defensive line can be suspect, and, and they're giving up about 224 rush yards a game and only giving about 183 pass yards a game. Um, and, and if they can run the ball and somebody like Tyler Evans, who's getting more involved in that run game, averaging 5.1 yards a rush, he can continue playing well. And you obviously will have Nick Nash thrown in there for rushes, and, and, and Nick Starkle will maybe get a couple rushes if he needs to scramble. Um, if they can get the ground game going early and continue their defensive play like they have been the whole season, they're in for a good game. So I think it's, it's stop the quarterback, stop the running back catching the ball, and uh, the usual bend don't break on defense and, and run the ball. Generate a run game, start a run game. We've started to see it, and that's a huge play this week. I think one of the other things that we can say um, going into this game against Hawaii is that this is one of the schools that since – San Jose State has been doing well. Um, this is one of the schools that has kind of been, they've had like a balanced attack, I guess I would say. They're not necessarily super strong in one area as opposed to the other. So I think this la or this pause in play is really going to have to force the Spartans to start, start and end strong throughout this game. I kind of predict that since they haven't played as much, maybe the first quarter is going to start out a little bit slow. Um, but in order to, you know, obviously come through with this win against Hawaii, they're going to have to be tight on their offense and their defense and make sure that they're picking up those scraps and really not letting up, cutting those loose ends, you know what I mean? Tying off those loose ends. Yeah, Stevie, good points and good points as well, Mr. Miller. Um, of course, Todd Graham, the uh, first-year head coach. Well, he's not a first-year. He's a veteran head coach, coached at Arizona State before. Our very own 831 native from Seaside, California, Herm Edwards uh, took over that program, and he's taken over Dick Rolovich at Hawaii, who got the promotion, and he's worked, He's coaching at Washington State. But this is going to be an interesting game because, you know, Hawaii, it's a run-and-shoot offense, so you're going to see a lot of bubble screens, a lot of screen passes to Calvin Turner, the junior running – or, excuse me, the graduate transfer – from Jacksonville University, five receiving touchdowns for a running back. I mean, dude is like, he's like a surfer. He's like Kelly Slater surfing all them 900 waves, you know what I'm saying, on the big island. So expect expect a lot of screen passes. And uh, Hawaii's offensive line is a little suspect in all three of their losses. You know, Boise State, Wyoming, boom, they rushed they rushed Cordero. So I expect Kate Hall, Vilmai Fajoko, um, Jay Kakavia, they're going to come out there and show up. And I feel like this is going to be a really monstrous game for the defensive line. Um, but Hawaii has a good lineback, linebacking core. Um, they've been able to force some turnovers off their opposition. I believe they're in the top five in the Mountain West in turnovers, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, Nick Starkle, Nick Nash, and the running backs, you know, just need to keep 
play smart, you know, don't really go for the hero ball. I know, I know we've seen it all the time, uh, especially this year with uh, Nick Starkle just throwing some cannons, absolute cannons um, from like Cocoa Head Mountain and Honolulu to Aloha Stadium. Uh, so it's been absolutely uh, sensational seeing throw. But same time, I think, you know, expect kind of a low scoring start. Uh, I know Max was mentioning that in our pre-production meeting. Um, so I expect a lot of that. But uh, the Spartan defense, I think, uh, will step up to the challenge. Yeah, the Spartan defensive line is going to have to make Cordero uncomfortable in the pocket and force him to throw. And and the Spartans defense will be looking uh, to hone in on, on some uh, opportunities against the Hawaii offense that struggled at times this season. Uh, the Rainbow Warriors record overall is uh, three and three at home with a record of two and one they've uh, hosted New Mexico Boise State and Nevada at home this season and are about to welcome the Spartans to Honolulu coach Brent Brennan says he loves playing against Hawaii it's it's probably his favorite matchup in the Mountain West so he's looking forward to this one especially uh, with the fact that it is in Hawaii they can't complain about going over there the Spartans will be healthy also two weeks off not uh, participating in in the past two games due to cancellation so they'll have the full roster and, and again we, we hope they're all healthy and able to go same case for the rainbow warriors so should be a great matchup two strong teams let's jump right into predictions starting with max well i do want to say that san jose state after the game will be headed to vegas to practice before the nevada game they'll be headed to vegas now the uh the the mountain west is yet to pull, you know put a location down of where the game will be played uh, but they will be headed to Vegas uh, once this game's over. But moving, you know, focusing on this game, I thought I'd just give that little update. Uh, we'll go with my betting line. So this, the, the, the spread is about two, two and a half. With San Francisco State favored by two over under 60, I say go over. I think it's going to be a shootout like crazy. I think, I think the defense of San Jose State is going to get off to a slow start. I don't think they're going to have to play catch up, but I think it's going to be a shootout to start with San Jose State kind of shutting it down in the second half, a lot like what we saw against Air Force and uh, New Mexico, if you will, you know, shutting them down in the second half. Um, my prediction is going to be 38 to 30 San Jose State. I think they just do enough on offense. I don't think – I don't think the Rainbow Warriors are going to be able to stop Nick Nash and, and, and Tyler Nevins coming out of the backfield. I think, I think we're in for a big Trey Walker game as well. I think Nick Starkle has been slinging all over the place, and he's needed 20 yards to get to 1,000 on the year. He needs one touchdown to get to 10 on the year. You know he's looking at that. You know he wants to put that put on a show. And he wants to – and the whole team is fighting. They want to get to the Mountain West Championship, and they know that they can get there. And they didn't get their game against Boise State or Fresno State, and most likely the opponent for that championship game will be one of those two if they get there. So 38-30, to 30, San Jose State go over on the over-under 60, and San Jose State is favored by two. Pick San Jose State in the spread as well. I predict a win for the Spartans as well. I kind of agree with Max. I think they're going to have a slow start, but I think they're definitely going to – I don't, I don't want to say it's a given. It's never a given. But um, we've obviously been showing to play very good football this season, especially compared to last season. And even just looking back at the, um, the records of the two teams, um, I mean, we didn't, get to play, we didn't get to play Boise State, so we obviously can't compare that game. But Hawaii has played San Diego State. We played San Diego State. We came through with a win over San Diego State, which I think was completely unexpected like, for the Spartans. So I predict that they're going to do well this week in Hawaii. I think that they are going to have a little bit of a slow start, but I think if they're able to maintain their consistency and like you said, not make those big game plays, but kind of just like do what they know how to do best. I think that they're going to definitely come through with this win. And we got an appearance from uh, one of somebody's dog over there and uh, good point. You know, I think the, the game's going to play out like Lilo and Stitch the plot line. Uh, you know, the movie starts out slow. You have Lilo dancing, you know what I'm saying? And that's an underrated Disney movie, but that's a different story for a different day. We could do a movie bracket and Ryan will just let me host it. But uh, anyways, it's going to play out like that. Stitch is going to come in and, you know, it's just going to be an explosion of offense. And that's how I say this game's going to go. Um, I'm going to be eating my spam moose and be watching a uh, Spartans win. It's going to be 42-34. And I think uh, a couple of the uh, players over there will enjoy some local moco and probably eat some shaved ice. You know, it's supposed to be 86 degrees, I believe. So uh, come on, you know, they got to enjoy some shaved ice. I mean, I know they're trying to you know, buff up some muscle for the next two, hopefully two games. But uh, yeah, 42-34, Spartans win. And uh, we just got to hang loose, my brothers. We're all going to get through this together. So 
Hey, Picking the over on Derek, just like I said, and they just upped it to 87. So I think that shaved ice is going to be much needed after this win for the Spartans. Yeah. And by the way, before uh, Ryan, we uh, go in, we have to say some uh, prayers. Let me take off the fun glasses first. Uh, the Colts punter, um, Rigoberto Sanchez, he did play for Hawaii. Um, unfortunately, he has a cancerous tumor and he will miss the rest of the season. He announced that um, earlier this week. So we're praying for you, Rigoberto, um, and hopefully the surgery goes well. And hopefully we see you punting in Indianapolis because he's been having a phenomenal season for them. Yes, well said. Thank you, Derek. Um, I agree with with all of you. Spartans, I think we'll get the win here. 35 to 28, it'll be a shootout-like contest, and the offense will look like it hasn't missed a beat on Saturday in Hawaii. And I think the defense will step it up in the second half, like Max said. It might be a little bit of an adjustment period to start the game. But I think it'll be a high-scoring contest. It'll be close, 35-28. And Stevie, did you have a final score? I don't, I don't think. I do not have a final score. I'm going to go 38-28. Yeah, I was going to say that, but I'm like 8-8. Eight eight, but <laughs> The two-point difference between you and me, it's going to come down to that, I see. Close one again. No Geo yeah. to mess us up this week, huh, Ryan? It'll be close. It'll be close. I think we're yeah, all. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, I don't even think that they'll make it to 30, but Max already said 38-30, so I'm like, uh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. We'll see what happens. Max has been close. I mean, it, it changes every week, it seems. But uh, You know, one thing, everything is slower in Hawaii. And one thing about San Jose is that everything about San Jose is fast-paced. So just in general, just in terms of geography, I think that that could be maybe an advantage. We're just used to playing at a faster pace than they are. And it's been a whirlwind of a past week for Spartan football. As Derek alluded to earlier, waking up in Boise, uh, having the game canceled, uh, they were supposed to play that day, coming back and once landing in San Jose, finding out that Santa Clara County has been placed on a, a pretty strict guideline in terms of COVID. And so having to plan for what they're going to do for the pat le- their last two games of the season. And we got a trip to Hawaii uh, for the first one here against the Rainbow Warriors. So it should be great. Derek's excited. He's going to watch the whole game with his sunglasses on. No, I'm not. And by the way, this <laughs> – everybody's been wondering where are the Spartans been practicing oh my god we got to go find them so uh, according to our local news station um, KON channel 546 here in uh, the central coast the best coast as I might like to mention um, they've been practicing in Scotts Valley and that's according to them Scotts Valley High School apparently they have a nice field up there and now usually these sunglasses were just made for our YouTube audience out there and uh, by the way follow us on our social medias folks Spear SJSU Facebook the Twitter machine the Instagram machine you know, we're trying to get to 3K, and uh, I know we'll be seeing some Bruno Mars since he's a local boy down there. So uh, some 21, 24 karat gold, right? 24 karat magic. <laughs> I'm saying a little bit of dance, and here you go. But, yeah, it should be a fun game. And don't forget, Team One Sports. Team One Sports. And uh, article should be posted today that I wrote that you guys can just go type on the uh, little computer that you have, little phone. And, uh, bam, it's like that, like movie magic, like we're doing right now kind of want to end it on that but Derek that was that was a great close there Brennan is going to be excited to coach his Spartans in Hawaii against the Rainbow Warriors should be a great one 3 p.m pacific time to watch uh download the team one sports app so thank you for watching this Spears football preview episode it's great to be back with you and it's great to have Spartan football back this weekend we hope you enjoy the game and we will see you next time